hello there i am saif shiraz and i am a graduate student of uh, mechanical engineering i already graduated in uh, may 2013 and i worked under professor asmatulu and uh, dr anil mohapatra here today uh, i am going to present a tutorial session on gamry works regarding uh, nyquist curve and tackle curves the most important two curves about the corrosion studies by gamry silver so right now i am showing how to set the gamry cell this is the corrosion cell and the circuit here it is not an dc circuit rather it is an ac circuit so here are the cords we see here from the gamry potential stats plugged into the gamry potential stat and here are the ends of these cords we see the orange ends uh, green blue red and white uh, among all these five ends only four will be only among the six ends only five will be used here and uh, this is the this is called the working end and this is called the refer, uh, reference end we can see here on this mouse pad you will see green is working working sense white is the reference red is the counter and orange is the counter sense and uh, here also you see the same so when we are going to set the cell suppose uh, it's a piece of metal that uh, we are going to study on we are trying to know the corrosion properties i think uh, i mean uh, the tackle equation parameters of this specific material we are trying to know it on that case what we have to do is we have to we have to unscrew this end and uh, here when it will be taken out the thing is like like this and uh, that's how it works so suppose uh, i'm gonna take it this way okay and uh, this metal going in between this cells hole and this uh, working end okay this way so i can just say that uh, in one hand it's going to be kind of tough but i'm trying suppose this way uh, it works this way Okay, here we can. Here I think it is gonna work. Okay, so what we are gonna do here is see this way, and we have to. so 
we see the metal has been set here and you can screw it a little bit more so it is the, the metal piece is set now in this cell you have to pour in the corrosion liquid you have to work with I mean it depends on your application on which application this metal piece is gonna be used because uh, corrosion parameters will change I mean the tackle parameters and the pattern of the Nyquist curve will change as per the corrosion liquid in our cases we used the metal magnesium I mean uh, actually magnesium alloy AZ31 and the corrosion fluid we used it was a phosphate buffer solution we used phosphate buffer solution because uh, it is actually nothing but simulated body fluid and we wanted to see how magnesium works against body fluid because our application is to use magnesium as an implant material so it is gonna be inside human body and it is gonna react with our body fluid that's what we try to do in the gamry work and so we use some simulated body fluid and we used PBS solution for that purpose so you have to know well what corrosion liquid you actually need so after pouring in the corrosion liquid and setting the material here on the working end the green will go to green the blue will go to blue here the orange will go to orange the red will go to red and here it is for the reference electrode for reference electrode look at this we took it here this reference electrode will go inside so that uh, this tip this tip uh, here it is the tip gets in touch of the corrosion liquid okay so it will be set this way and here the other end of the cord of the reference electrode it will be plugged into the white one white port just like this I'm working with one hand and my other hand is holding the camera so I hope you'll take it easy that's how it is set this is how the cell look like the corrosion fluid so after setting it what you have to do is you have to turn on the gamry potential stat here here is the button turn it on and now you see the button is the light is gray uh, blue and now it's turned into green see now the device is ready I mean USB means the computer uh, CPU it's getting data from the gamry and the gamry device also got the power so it is ready for the work so right now after setting this thing all this thing we will go to gamry framework Okay, the Gamry framework pops up. So, to go to the, to run an experiment, we have to go to the experiment. Click here. You will find some options. Drop down. And to run the 
capital curve one you have to choose DC 105 see and from DC 105 again go down you have to choose potential dynamic is on okay now here pops up the window it needs some values so here the initial voltage and final voltage you can choose as you like and uh, these values will not be exactly followed by the gamry but what will be exactly followed it is the volt difference between the initial and final suppose your original curve can start at 1.5 volt and can finish at uh, negative 2.5 volt not necessarily it is gonna start in 2 volt and finish at uh, negative 2 volt but it will maintain the same volt difference here you have put uh, 2 volt and the final is negative 2 volt so it's a total of 4 volt difference the curve will maintain the same volt difference between its initial and final value I mean the voltage value and about the scan rate if it is uh, smaller the curve will proceed slowly I mean every single uh, the difference between two points on the graph will be the standard actually so if you put it higher the curve will be done quickly if you put it smaller the curve will take more time to finish sample period is one second is good and sample area it is the area of the whole of the gamma cell actually uh, I think the whole you guys will be able to see here you see the hole uh, here this hole through this hole the metal gets in touch of the corrosion liquid so that corrosion can happen so this is the sample area for this cell uh, it is not 4.85 this cell is the cell this cells uh, sample area will be something different than 4.85 you have to measure it again and density it is the density of the metal or the other material you are going to use equivalent weight it's a metal constants and these are thing this thing are okay after all this thing uh, output file name and some notes fixing everything you are going to click ok and the car will run this time it is not going to run because we don't have any uh, corrosion liquid actually so we are not gonna have any curve this is how the potential dynamic curve have to be done and then this is how you have to work on 